stereotype in America as a whole watching a show like this? I mean, I don't want to put too many, too much thought into it because it's not like our intention to transform Asian American male masculinity across the country through this one show, you know. But obviously, if you have a cool ass show with a cool ass character, you know, it's gonna change, and, yeah. and it's not Long Duck Dong from Sixteen Candles, that's for sure. Sonny ain't that, you know. And there's sexuality to him. He has, he has a woman. He actually kisses her, mm -hmm. you know. Where it's just like, if you remember Romeo Must Die. There was a scene where Jet Li was supposed to kiss Aaliyah, and they, apparently they tested it, and audiences were repulsed by an Asian guy kissing a black yeah. girl, and so they cut it out of the the movie. Mm -hmm. um, well, that happens in this show. Time has changed. People have changed, and um, it's you know I think it's a different era than it was you know even just ten years ago. Um, so I'm not really out there to transform the way people think. I'm just there to make a cool show for television. And if that changes people's perception, that's a bonus, you know. So how is working on television as opposed to you, like you know, movie? honestly, it didn't feel any different because TV now is becoming much more cinematic. You know, like since Sopranos, like TV has changed so much. Mm -hmm. And so it didn't really feel that different. And plus our crew, the, our cinematographer, all came from film. So other than the time crunch, like how fast we had to put everything together, there wasn't that much difference to me. Really. Are you happy with the body of work that you've made so far? The first few episodes, I think the six that you guys yeah, have done. Yeah, yeah. How happy are you with it? I just saw the six episode last week, the final edit of it, and I'm pretty happy with how it, the whole thing turned out. I mean, all the elements are there. But the most important thing to me is not just the martial arts, it's like the story, mm -hmm. and is that compelling? And is it going to drive you to watch next season? And it does all that. You know, the spoiler alert: the last episode is a cliffhanger. You know, and, and, and I'll make you want to watch the second season. So, so we, we hit all those buttons. Plus, the characters are cool. Like, Marton's character is super cool. Um, uh, Emily's character, is, the widow character is really cool. Even Allie's character, the, um, um, this young butterfly girl who's a badass herself with the ninja stars and all that, like, she's really interesting. Like, I think there's characters for everybody in the show, and we were successful in, like, making them all three dimensional, you know, mm -hmm. and so that. A teenage girl might like Allie's character, a teenage boy might like MK's character, a dude might like my character, you know, it's, it's all different. And then you'll definitely like, I think most females will get behind the widow because she's all about feminist power in the mm -hmm. show. So it's, um, there's a lot for everybody and I was really happy with the way it turned out.